Are we in a golden age of pinball? For the hobby, I mean. I understand possibly one of the golden ages was the, in the 90s, the WPC era, but things are different now. It's more to do with sort of pinball ownership, isn't it, really, than pinball on location. But I couldn't help but think that this was a golden age of pinball because of the large amount of choice available in terms of new in box, the vast number of manufacturers that are producing games. And I think this is brought home to me by the expo that's in Chicago, which unfortunately I'm not able to attend. I can't be the only person who's not going to Chicago who's sort of eagerly anticipating any news or rumors or leaks that there might be about upcoming titles, the big reveal, we all want to hear it. We all want to know it. What are Stern going to come up with next? What are Jersey Jack going to come up with next? I think I think we know. We're going to. I'm going to get into them individually uh, in just a moment. Are American Pinball going to produce something? What are Spooky doing? Dutch Pinball are over there as well. CGC, have they got anything else planned? This is the sort of stuff that anybody that's involved in the pinball hobby finds incredibly exciting. And I couldn't help but but constantly refresh the pages. I'm particular, I've been on Pinside the last two or three days, just waiting. To, I'm, I want to read uh, uh, people's opinions. It's not just to hear what, what's going to be released. I want to hear what people think of certain games. And it was really whilst I was reading, I've got to say, some of the, the more muted um, and, and downbeat responses to a Jersey Jack releasing Elton John, which really gave me Give me food for thought, uh, if you like, on some of this stuff, because enough images have been released and leaked that Jersey Jack's next game is going to be Elton John. It's nothing to do with me this time, I promise. I've had nothing to do with it at all. They're very grainy, they're very shady images. Uh, however, I think it's easy enough to see what the next game is going to be. I think maybe all of us have seen that picture of the front of the pinball cabinet, which has very much, I think it's Elton John from the 70s, He's got the big glasses on and that, uh, that sort of era. Uh, it's quite clear the game they're producing, but... To say that it's received um, a lukewarm response would, would certainly be an understatement. It certainly appeared to me that people were, were upset by this release. And, and I found it... Well, firstly, let me, let me give you my own opinion. I won't be buying an Elton John pinball machine from Jersey Jack. But that's cool. Uh, the fact I whether I will or whether I won't really doesn't matter. When I looked at it, I thought, it, there's enough choice for it. Not to matter, there's enough other pinball machines that you can go and choose if you don't want to buy this Elton John from Jersey Jack. Jersey Jack have, well, I think their last three releases will, will be Elton John, uh, will be uh, The Godfather, and obviously they would have had Toy Story. Three very, very different releases. Uh, you have, well, a music-themed pinball machine. Uh, you've got a film, well, a, a 70s film, and you've got... An animated, an animated children's production. Let's let's call it that from Disney Pixar. They're all very, three very very different things, but there's been a constant theme that I've heard coming up, and that is, do we need another music themed pinball machine? Well, as far as I can see it, music themed pinball machines are important because realistically, when I sort of look around and look at some of my pinball machines, my pinball machines are either based on one of four things. They're either music based pins. They're either pins that are based on movies, a TV series, or maybe a comic book or something like that. You do get the odd generic thing, or the odd, odd, odd original thing. Cactus Canyon be a good example. Attack from Mars is, is another good example. But by and large, pinball machines are based on music, they are based on films, they are based on TV series, and they are based on comics. I think if we take away this, this whole section, I think, well, that's it. There are no more music, music pinball machines. We've had enough. I'm not sure I want to see it. And you know what? what? I looked at it and I started looking at the number of pinball machines that are available at the moment, and it's extensive. And as far as I can think off the top of my head, I'm going to go and have a look now. I think there are only three music-themed pinball machines out of many that you can go and buy at the moment, which obviously would be... Uh, Elton John, which it, you can't buy it yet, but it's about to be announced. I think we're on pretty safe ground by saying that. Uh, the other one would be Foo Fighters. Which, actually, it's not here. Actually, it's down, down there, Foo Fighters. And it'd be Queen by um, by Pinball Brothers. Well, that's it. I, swear, I don't think there's... I don't think the market is flooded with music pinball machines. But I just thought about it, and I looked at people, and people were getting quite upset that Jersey Jack had bought this out. And I thought, well, why, why'd you stop... 
don't worry about it. There's so much other choice that you can get. If you want, and you're in the market for a new inbox pinball machine, you're in a very, very privileged position. And I'm just going to read off of the page from our sponsors, Pinball Heaven, who obviously, this is just pinball machines that are available in the UK. If you're in the market for a new inbox pinball machine, this is what you can buy at the moment. You can buy Alien, and pretty damn good game. I've got to be honest, I don't like the flipper action on it. Pretty damn good game, very atmospheric. And they're actually, gonna, I think they're releasing a Ripley edition of it. You can purchase a Cactus Canyon. You can purchase a Deadpool, still available to buy. Elvira House of Horrors. Now I should probably say that at the point of recording this, I've, Stern have just announced the release of a new, I'd, I'd want to call it a Bloodsucker edition, but it's not. I know that's what Spooky call theirs. It's, it's very much, it's a, it's, it's done in a sort of black and red livery, if you want. It's It looks really nice. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous, actually. So it's sort of black and white with some really lots of sparkly red on it. But Elvira, anyway, whatever. Elvira is still available to buy. You can buy a Fathom from Haggis, or, or can you? It might, might take a long time, but you can buy a Fathom from Haggis. You can buy Foo Fighters. You can buy a Galactic Tank Force. What about Godzilla? Guns N' Roses is still available to buy new in box. You've got Halloween by Spooky. Uh, Iron Maiden is still being produced, or certainly you can buy them new in box in this country. James Bond, Jurassic Park, Labyrinth has just been announced. Legends of Valhalla, Pulp Fiction, Queen I've already mentioned, Rush, Scooby-Doo, Stranger Things, they're re-releasing that, by the way. Uh, a, a Dutch pinball, a, a Big Lebowski, you can buy The Godfather as well. You can buy Total Nuclear Annihilation. You can still buy Toy Story, you can buy Ultraman. Venom, and, and I'm sure that's not all of them. I'm sure there are others which you can buy. That's just me reading off a page. I don't know if it was ever like this in the past, and to be honest with you, I've only really seriously been into the hobby since 2018. I played pinball before, but in terms of pinball ownership, we're looking at 2018. I'm I'm a newbie. I'm wet behind the ears. I've I've not been around long enough, but. I think since 2018 to now, I've never seen so many new in boxes available. And there's such a wide variety. So I think in many respects, I didn't understand the upset that had been caused by, and, and I say upset, there was people gen, genuinely, I wouldn't say angry, but affronted, if you like, which were almost affronted that Jersey Jack would dare to, uh, to produce this, um, this Elton John pinball machine. Now it, it could be, it could be good, bad or indifferent. In all honesty, I don't know. The theme doesn't overly appeal to me, but that's fine, isn't it? There's so many other choices that you can go out there and you can buy, you know, you might, fine, it doesn't matter. I don't have to go out there and buy an Elton John. I can buy an Alien. I can go and buy a Godzilla, or buy Legends of Valhalla or whatever it is. But I'm certainly not seeing this, this perceived tsunami of music-based pinball machines. And I'm actually starting to wonder, is music actually less well represented than than film or comic books or something like that? I, I just don't know. I think there's room for everything. And, and now more than ever, I would understand if there was just one company, as, as I think for a, for a little while, it looked like Stern were gonna have the monopoly and almost be the only pinball machine manufacturer who were regularly uh, manufacturing games and I could understand it if there was one game or two games a year from one manufacturer I could understand people being really disappointed that this one title wasn't exactly what they wanted but I think we're in a, a real luxurious situation at the moment whereby there's so many manufacturers and and by and large you will be able to find something new in box that, that suits you. you you might not like on John but maybe you like Stranger Things you know, maybe you do, maybe you like Halloween, maybe you don't, maybe you want something a little bit more family orientated, like Scooby-Doo or like Toy Story. I actually think there's a really broad choice out there for the moment. And I don't expect every pinball machine to be appealing towards me any more than I would expect to go into a restaurant and expect every item on the menu to appeal to me. Hey, don't like the fish? No problem, eat the pie. And that is why I'm looking at this now and thinking this is probably the golden age, I think so, in terms of pinball ownership. And I don't think it stops here. I don't think we've heard the last of it at all. 
I, I speak about this really, really early. I think I, I might be wrong. I think the ex expo possibly starts today. Is it the 18th? It, it might be. The, I'm not sure. 18th, 19th, 20th. It's certainly ongoing over this weekend. And I do expect some announcements. It's very hard, I think, in the pinball industry to be able to keep secrets. Hey. It's not just in the pinball in industry, let's be fair. It's, it's the same in every industry. It's just I think in pinball they try and keep things secret a little bit more than, than any, any other industry. I was looking uh, the other day and uh, it was, I was speaking to a friend about this uh, who's very much into cars, into automobiles, and he was talking about car manufacturers. He was saying, well, a car manufacturer won't be so secretive about what their next car is. Granted, they, they, won't, lift the, uh, they won't lift the bonnet up, they won't lift the hood up and let everybody see what the engine's doing and stuff like that, but they will say our next car is this and there'll be some, uh, there'll be some images released. And certainly that's the case with EA Sports won't be won't be coy and they won't be shy about telling you what their next game will be. I uh, certainly it's the same with mountain bikes. It's the same. Look, hey, look, I'm I'm really I'm really into my cameras. Uh, okay. Panasonic are certainly not like this. They're happy to tell you what's coming out. They, they just don't have this veil and this shroud of secrecy which Pimble seems to have. So I think everybody knows it's hard to keep a secret. I think it's just a pinball try to do it for, for any, any number of reasons. And we, we touched on it when, uh, when Don came on the, um, from Don's Pinball Podcast, uh, came on the Chimwag a week or so ago with myself and Spencer. So it, it's, it is hard. It's hard to keep a secret. These things get leaked out. So I don't think it's any surprise to anyone that Jersey Jack have produced uh, Elton John. I think the one thing I would say about that is it's it's received such bad, I think so many bad comments that the game may well turn out to be a lot better than is expected, which I think conversely is, is the opposite of another Jersey Jack release, which was Guns N' Roses, which was a great theme. What a great theme uh, to have. Sorry, another music pin again, obviously, but really amazing. I think, well, I love Guns N' Roses, uh, first of all, let me just say that. But I think people were anticipating a really, really good and a great pinball machine. And and I think in terms of the build, I think in terms of the look, I do think it's it's amazing. It's an amazing achievement. In terms of a pinball machine, I think it's magnificent. In terms of a game, it, it's not so good, maybe. It's too multi-ball heavy. It's a, the, the rules may be a little bit too complicated, whatever it is. But actually, the execution of the machine is great, whilst not the game. And I think there was so much hype building up to that you could only, everyone was expecting this to be a brilliant game. You could only ever be disappointed. I think, conversely, with this Elton John, it's received so much criticism before anyone's even played it that maybe just maybe it might be a half decent game. It, it may well surprise people. People may well want to um, want to play this game. I don't know. Well, actually, I want to play it. I want to play Godfather. I've still not even played Godfather. So, yeah, I'm, I've certainly, there's one thing I've learned about Pinball it's not to judge a machine until I've until I've played it, because there's been a lot of machines I thought were going to be very, very good. And there's quite a few machines I thought were going to be awful, which um, which turned out to be to be far better than I expected when some of those good ones turned out to be utter rubbish. Uh, watch this space. I would certainly hope that throughout this expo, we have more than just one big release in terms of one big announcement. Uh, which looks like it's going to be a Jersey Jack. Be very, very interested to see what everyone else has got planned. Looking at what Stern have at the moment to release that that Elvira news, and then the the news that they were going to do the reruns of Stranger Things. I, I sort of hope that's not it. I, I hope there's there's something else that we can get our teeth into. But I, one thing I do know: all these manufacturers are going to be working on something. So if you think it's good now. I, I think it's good now with all of those, that list of games that I read out at the start of this video, it's only going to get better. In terms of new in box, in terms of if you are lucky enough to have the funds, to have the money to purchase a new in box pinball machine, I would suggest you thoroughly, thoroughly sport for choice. So don't worry about it. If you don't like Elton John, no problem at all. Go and buy yourself a Benham. Benham? What's a Venom? Go and buy yourself a Venom. Go and buy yourself a Total Nuclear Annihilation. You, you won't go too far wrong uh, with a Big Lebowski, I can tell you that. That's pretty much my favourite pinball machine at the moment. Go and get yourself a Legends of Valhalla. There are so many. You will find a pinball machine for you because as I do really think this, we are in the midst of a golden age of pinball.